Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to all of you. This is our first video of 2025 and we already seen a lot of news around Tesla, especially Cybertruck. But we are not going to talk about Cybertruck or the news. We are going to be focusing on the version 13.2.2 and so far I really love this version. No mistakes at all. It's pretty much end to end. You just put the address where you're going and the car will take you there without any intervention. So I just put the address in and we'll see how this is going to drive today. We are going to show our settings here too. So let me just quickly show you my um, automatic set speed offset is on and it's at 40% offset right now and I'm on the hurry mode and as far as my pedals are concerned although it doesn't impact the autopilot or FSD I am on the plaid mode and we'll see how this goes so we are going to be approaching a stop sign and this is going to be a tricky one because we are going to be crossing the uh, interstate highway and we'll be going on the other side of the road crossing the highway from this side so let's see how FST is going to perform so we are approaching the stop sign slowing down and let's see how this is going to turn this is not like a easy kind of situation so I'm ready to take over at any point if required FSD is moving forward moving forward moving forward okay good we are fair distance from the curb on this side too and we made this turn perfect no problems at all now we are onto this highway The speed limit on the highway is 55 here and I'm going at 44 it is probably following the other cars around and in this new version you know the visualization has been really improved there's a no lag at, at all I would say between what the car is seeing and what's displayed here very much in real time Another thing I noticed on uh, the version 13.2.2 is like um, when you are approaching a stop sign or a stop light the car is gradually gonna slow down it's not just gonna come to an abrupt kind of stop or like you know when it's gonna start moving from a stop light it is not gonna be doing a abrupt kind of movement it's very subtle and smooth which was there in the earlier versions of version 12 but then you know i don't know what happened when they merged hardware 3 and hardware 4 fsd something got messed up and we were seeing harsh braking phantom braking and all those kind of things haven't seen that at all in the version 13.2.2 i think this is the latest version so far uh there is another version coming up which is 13.2.2.1 so that is also being rolled out uh, with some minor bug fixes and stuff nothing major though but I just want to demonstrate and show you like you know this is my second drive today I was at work so when I was driving back from work I used the FST and it brought me home without even doing anything and now you can also you know say things like you know take me home or like you know put the uh, address here rather than putting the address here you can say using this mic as well and it's not like I'm gonna pick every single time but you know take me home still works if you say take me home it's gonna route to home and then you just press this on your way uh, but it's pretty much end to end you don't have to touch the yoke at all right so that's the biggest thing and you know I talk to people who don't have Tesla they are still like asking me uh, oh so you have to touch the steering you know wheel like while you're driving and I'm like no I don't have to you know so um, if you are new to Tesla's or if you're trying to learn about Tesla's like guys uh, look at this drive uh, you know we are not touching the yoke at all the car is turning by itself 
taking exits, stopping at the stop lights, stop signs, all of those things. And you know, we are just sitting behind the wheel and talking to you guys, right? So <laughs> pretty impressive. And if you look at this and look at this car showing up here, it's a very minimal to no lag. What you, the camera is seeing and what is being displayed here so I'm really really impressed by that also guys if you like watching the FST videos please consider subscribing I try to make regular content and also you know make videos around other stuff too so do check some other videos on my channel please uh, subscribe like share and support this small channel my goal this year is to cross 5,000 subscribers so we are currently at uh, 3,000 plus so you know you're slowly getting there so you know small goal that I set for myself I'm not a full-time youtuber but uh, I like to make videos and you know uh, share my experiences uh, with you guys and lately like you know it's all pretty much around the Tesla and FST so so oh I just touched the brake thought like the car was coming towards me so unintentionally I just hit the brake so anyways FSD was doing the right thing uh, it's engaged again so guys uh, please consider subscribing check some of the content out and do provide me with your feedback in the comment section down below people who follow this channel or like you know been following me for a while this is the normal route on which we test uh, the FSD for various things uh, you know so I am like testing the version 13.2.2 on this route now uh, you know and so far so good you know you don't have to do any interventions at all you don't have to touch the yoke at all uh, you know pretty much it's gonna take you from one place to the other this is really really seamless guys so really happy about what Tesla you know uh, FSD team has achieved and you know they are gonna come up with a few more updates so I'm really excited to see what's gonna be the next thing for the FSD I'm not gonna be surprised if at some point in 2025 we get some kind of unsupervised FSD uh, but you know let's see I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be overly optimistic about it but I'm very happy with what we have right now okay so this is an interesting spot the stop sign that is coming up is not for us but FSD has always stopped here thinking that it's a stop sign for us let's see oh perfect so look at this this is just too good guys FSD did not mess up this time oh my god I am really happy so if you have seen my previous videos FSD would stop there and thinking that it's a stop sign for us in this case it did not stop and uh, it just went through so really really happy and like seeing these improvements is like a big deal right you know all, all of these are subtle things but you know it tells me every time like when I test as FSD on the similar route what subtle changes are there and things that have improved so this was one of the thing that I really like for sure Also leave your comments in the feedback section down below and like I read all the comments I try to engage with you guys too um, you know especially for the comments that uh, are around FSD and like some of the use cases that you want me to test so again I try to you know test these things but uh, this is my own car it's not a sponsored video by Tesla by any means so you know uh, if there's anything that is not a safety concern I would definitely uh, give it a try and test it out so far so good Okay, we're gonna be making a right turn from here and we are at a fair distance from the curb we can see it here picking up the speed again
And for those of you who are concerned about the tires on Model S, uh, I'm still on the first set of tires touching, let me see how many miles do we have on this car now. Uh, da, da, da. So I am pretty much at 11,118 miles now and uh, still my rear tires are in good condition. I do check the tires and check tire pressure too. So, you know, if you want to extend the life of your tires, always make sure that the tire pressure is correct. And especially in the winter time, you will see that the air pressure is gonna go down a little bit. So, you know, I have a pump in my garage, so I try to top it off and keep it to the recommended tire pressure. Also, I don't launch the car every single day, uh, so that also helps, right? So if you're not gonna be launching the car or you're not gonna be uh, driving it on low mode every day, you know, that will help with the tire wear and it's gonna prolong the life of your tires as well. I just put a random address you know I don't want to like keep on driving and um, you know uh, bore you with this right so just uh, wanted to show you how good this FST version 13.2.2 is and it's pretty much end-to-end -end, guys again uh, you can put the address while you are leaving your house and like it will take you to the destination and you know pretty much the same way on your return right so you don't have to touch the yoke at all and the car will basically be driving on its own so i am going to be making more content uh in 2025 definitely about uh tesla so uh if you are interested if you like this video please consider subscribing like share comment all those good things and i'm gonna catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys goodbye